Ouais, bon, c'est pas le Mais je pense que c'est pas ici. Period November December, so they can be able to buy more, more, more things, more material, whatever they are doing. Whether you are a business worker like me, business woman like me, whether they are selling cloth. One of my friends is selling cloth, and she used the money to buy many cloth, and she sell it. She sold everything by December period. So we really appreciate Governor Sheima Kinde for his efforts signing people of your state and we pray that almighty god will continue to 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 uphold him we've done a lot of things in my business and he liked my business likewise i'm a baba as i said and when i collect the loan i'm into, in the, into the gas i'm selling gas too so when i collect the beer, the money uh, the silver loan i use this to buy gas i use this to buy some keepers and i use it to i'm selling this too so and some other things i'm i'm dealing with i'm selling gary a Lubo, including epa so unlimited business so i use this for my small scale business to enlarge it i collected 750,000. how has this impacted uh, your vocation well it improved my business because when i got the money i purchased some piglets because I'm a, I'm a multi-purpose farmer. I have cashew, I have cassava, and I have uh, maize. Likewise, I'm an, I have animals one day. This is a law. And what the government expects is for the first and second beneficiaries to utilize the loan and repay it back. Well, at they being repaid back, you know, there will be great room for other people to benefit. So, if everybody repaid back timely, <coughs> um, we expect to touch about 10,000 10, people eventually. You need to understand the antecedent that brought about um, the disbursement of 500 million naira to small and micro enterprises across the seven geopolitical zones in your state. Uh, in the wake of this current administration, the federal government uh, removed the subsidy on uh, gasoline products uh, and also uh, the unification of exchange rates that led to the devaluation of the Naira. So that twin policy shocks actually affected the general price level. Inflation got shut up 
uh, exchange rates uh, became uh, devalued, uh, uh, depreciated, exchange rate of the Naira to major currencies in the world uh, depreciated uh, in the, to a very large extent. And interest rates was being increased to, I mean, uh, I mean, stabilize inflation. So as a result of that, the economic crisis, I mean, affected uh, the people of the state, especially businesses. That, uh, uh, when we started, people thought it was a government uh, palliative program, and uh, that was playing a major uh, effect from the selection period. So we are trying to canvas and uh, help a lot of people to let them understand that this law is government assisted law, not a palliative law. And uh, before we can also, we also uh, uh, convince them, it takes a lot of time for them. And they were able to gain their conscience there uh, that yes, this law is only meant for people that are doing micro business. And the government of Oyo State is only to help them so that by the time they grow from that level, they will be able to have access to bigger. Uh, in, in the future. I can assure you that when money are channeled through institutions like ours, repaying is not a problem. So what we have done is to ensure that one, we follow strictly the rules of the game or the memorandum of understanding that was outlined prior to this government by ensuring that the beneficiaries are known, we know their various businesses, we know their addresses, what they do, we do not even stop at that. We ensure that we give them the needed tech talk, like what can they can use the money for, how they can use the money, return it, so that in the nearest future, if this program is sustained, it will be beneficial and it's going to be a win-win situation for all of us.